All right, guys. This is going to be a video on um, a quick and easy way to install a distributor. Got a small buck Chevy. Um, this is the way I do it. I've been doing it this way for years. And it just, um, when I drop my distributors in, I hook one wire up and they start. What you got to do, of course, is bring it on one cylinder up on the compression stroke, which is the front driver's side cylinder. Slowly turn it until it comes up on compression stroke. Stop at top dead center on your harmonic balancer on zero. Uh, set your oil pump drive shaft to a 11 and five o'clock position right here. Um, I will get closer to show the position. Bear with me, this thing will take a second to focus, I'm sure. There it goes. Um, it doesn't matter, forward, backwards. It's still gonna be, you know, 11 o'clock, five o'clock position. All right. And all that does is help you line up the oil pump drive in the bottom of the distributor, which is right here. Um, then you take your distributor, put your vacuum advance to the passenger side, spin your rotor button to where it lines up with the second bolt hole on the back of the intake, second bolt hole. And slowly lower it down in, and it drops right into your oil pump drive shaft. Mates perfectly. Um, your distributor will fit on just like so, and you will line it almost perfectly across like this. And if you look at number one cylinder, this will be number one number eight, number four, number three, number six, number five, number seven, and number two. Meaning that that goes to number one cylinder, this goes to number eight cylinder, and if you notice I'm going in a clockwise direction because that's the direction that the rotor button turns. But if you notice, this is number one cylinder, my rotor button will be pointing directly at number one. I mean, you will have to fine to a new distributor, maybe that far to advance it, maybe a little bit to do, to retard it. But it'll start every time. Battery, one positive lead from your ignition or your key on these distributors. The other lead comes up from the bottom for your tack. This is your feed for your coil and your pickups on the inside. And that's it. This is one of the easiest distributors to install. All right, guys, I hope that helped. Um, I made this video for 19 Stony 64. Um, I hope that helps, Don. But this will um, give you, it'll put your part of the distributor where you hook up your leads right to the side here. They won't be too close to the firewall. Here. Your um, vacuum advance won't be back here up against the firewall. You'll have plenty of adjustment for advancement and retardment. But um, pretty much they come out even like that. And you're pointing at that number one and you're ready to fire. Good to go. All right, guys, I hope that helps. Maybe it'll help some people. Uh, now I get it all crooked. Spun it all the way around. <laughs> Just like that. All right. Thanks for watching. And I hope that helps, Don. If you have any questions, just give me a shout and I'll try to answer them for you. All right, guys. Have a good day.